Hello, bees bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have three new knives from Artisan Cutlery to unbox and I haven't got to see them yet and I can't wait. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And by the way, if you like knives and everyday carry gear and you like to stay up to date on the newest gear and knives that are coming out, make sure you subscribe. And if you don't hit the notification bell, you will miss what's coming out. Not to mention all you people that are already subscribed, if you don't hit the notification bell, you won't get reminded before the live stream starts and you know we do one every friday night bees blades live at the hive oh right <laughs> i didn't know what was gonna be under there i thought we were i was like i'm talking right over the knife being shown so it looks like all of these are in a pouch let me get them out of the pouch real quick or get them out of the boxes they come with uh, the nice fancy boxes sometimes i have trouble getting knives out of the boxes because i can't figure out how to open them these were actually not child proof <laughs> <laughs> because I was able to get them open. And you know, I'm pretty stoked about this. This is another one of those. Uh, well, I'll tell you more about it here in a second. Let's let's uh, let's open this one first. <laughs> it's okay. All right. I haven't done it in a full unboxing like where I didn't know what the what it was gonna be. It's a lot lighter than what I expected. Oh yeah. So we have we have three different versions. Here's the first one, and you know what? I'm just gonna let you enjoy this whole process. It comes with a nice case that you can put two knives in. Oh yeah, I see some carbon fiber. I see, oh, that's one of my favorite looks. Oh, snap. Who was it? I know somebody says, oh, snap. Oh yes, oh my goodness. Stipling, oh my goodness. Are you, oh wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh my goodness. So here's the first one. Yeah, look at that. I'm, I'm keeping it way down here for right now. I'm gonna zoom in as soon as I get these out of the package. I'm just letting you enjoy and soak this up with me. Okay, there's one, two. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, holy freaking cow. Here's one, here's two, here's three. These are the Artisan Cutlery Boa. Would you look at them? Just look at them. You have the stippled, you have the rustic, and then you have the tacta boa. And there's also a full dress boa with all that super fancy flame anode titanium and all that good stuff. Let's check this out. Ooh, mamacita. Now that, <laughs> I can't say this is my favorite because we haven't even looked at all three of them yet. All three versions are titanium. All three are all four versions. And then all of them have S35VN blade steel. But look at this. Let's take a quick tour all the way around. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at this. This is gorgeous. You have a titanium backspacer. You do have a post back here for a lanyard. Oh my God. Goodness gracious. Looks like T6 hardware. It's a front flipper. And are we going to be able to, oh, this is going to be reverse flickable. Okay, let's just look at one at a time real quick. You ready for this? Pow, right in the kisser. Oh, yes. This, by the way, is designed by Jonathan Shaw. I don't know if you've heard of him, but it, he is a young man that has got his act together. Look at this. There's that harpoon blade that beautiful steel. This is the satin. And uh, let's see, that's the satin. And then this one is coated. I'm not sure. Let's see. That looks like black PVD coating. But you know what? Let's go back here. Let's go down all the way real quick. Okay. You do have room for sharpening. Your plunge grind kind of disappears uh, right about right there. So you look like you're good to go on that. It has good feeling thumb studs. And oh my goodness, that is a harpoon and a half. And this stippling Stipling? Stippling. Stippling is just gorgeous. Look how it catches the shadows. And by the way, the texture vision and the texture feel is great. It is grand. It is superb. It feels so nice in the hand. And let's get a rough idea so you can see how big this knife is. So from tip to tip, we're coming in at about 7.18 inches and your blade length's coming in right at 3.1 inches. So you've got it just slightly over a three inch sharpened length. And this is a very lightweight knife. I want to see how much it weighs. And I hope you're having a fantastic day. Make sure that you leave a comment in the comment section and tell me which one of these is your favorite? What do you like? What do you not like about them? So first off, the stippled version comes in at 3.34 ounces right there in that everyday carry knife sweet spot. And then this one here, they call the rustic, comes in at 3.09 ounces. And then last but not least, oh my goodness gracious, the carbon fiber. 
3.14 ounces. So these are all very lightweight. Now, while I'm thinking about it, because I just noticed here is something very, very cool. This is a frame lock. This is a frame lock and this is a frame lock. But the difference I can see already is that both of these are nested frame locks, which are in my favorite category. I love it when a frame lock is covered over, but I still have that added extra security of the frame lock. Now let's, let's check out the, <laughs> I, I can't help it. I am like a kid in a candy store right now. So, oh yeah, it, oh, it's so smooth. So the thumb studs work very well. It's drop shutty. Look at that drop shutty. So it is buttery, buttery. Can I reverse flick it? Yes. Ooh, and it is very, very snappy. And how about using that? Oh man. So you can use the thumb hole. Um, you can't really use the thumb hole with your thumb, but you can flip it like that. And oh, oh, can we do it over the top? Yes. So this is a multiple deployment knife. It is a great size. My hand, by the way, is three inch, four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here. And from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. And I will show you the other knives. I just, we'll get through these details first. So there are no hot spots whatsoever. This pocket clip is a milled titanium clip and it is not reversible in this knife. The ergonomics are, are dreamy. They feel very good. I have no nitpicks whatsoever. This is a nice size everyday carry knife and it looks wicked. And how does this feel? Left and right, up and down, no movement at all. It has a good lockup, I'd say around the 40% mark. And is it centered? Oh yeah, it's centered. And let's check out this one. This is the Rustic Boa. And you know what? I you If you follow the channel, channel if you further the churner, if you follow the channel or you hang out with us on the live streams, you already know this is one of my favorite looks. It just, I feel like a Mr. Fancy Pants when I'm, when I'm wearing, okay, I'm losing my thoughts when I'm carrying a knife like this. It, I just really love that look, the appeal of it. And by the way, this micarta is seamless. You can't feel where it stops and where the titanium starts. Oh yeah, I am digging that. Here's a little bit of texture vision for you. That is some nice micarta. It does have a nice soft feel to it. And see here, this right, uh, oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh yeah, this is, oh my goodness. These, these are good. Okay, so right now, these are a Kickstarter. I'll have the link in the description of this video. I always do. The link will also be in the comments. This is a dreamy knife and I'm telling you right now, people are going to go absolutely crazy over this knife. Multiple deployments, multiple styles, and oh, the front flip is done very well. Look at this. Look at that jimping. The jimping is done just right. The over the top is super snappy. And then using your thumb is super snappy. And can we do that? Oh yeah, we could slow, <laughs> we could slow roll it with the index. Yes, this is a gorgeous knife. Here's a look at this side. And you know what? That, that right there just makes my day when I get a nested frame lock. Okay, let's check out this one because this looks, oh my goodness, I don't know if I have a favorite yet because look at that, carbon fiber, carbon fibre, and it is also seamless. You cannot see, you can't tell, you can't, I, I don't even feel. I, it is seamless. Did I say it's seamless? You can't even feel where it transitions from one to the other. And I do very much appreciate Artisan. I love the fact that you put the inlays on both sides and not just one side. That makes such a difference on the aesthetics and the looks and the feel of this knife. Oh my goodness. But back to the carbon fiber. There's the carbon fiber version. What are my nitpicks? <laughs> I have to find nitpicks, right? No, I don't have to find nitpicks, but the ergonomics, are grand. And look at this. My thumb just fits into that poon so well. Don't you love it when your thumb goes into the poon and it poon and it's just supposed to be there? Pause for laughs. But it is designed very well and I have large width hands, so I would say an XL hand would be able to get all four of your fingers on there. It is quite comfy and I'm not getting any hot spots. Nothing is bothering me, nothing standing out. And look at that. I love how the tip isn't too high. It's just a little bit higher, just a tad than the pivot, but wow. What a gorgeous, and I mean absolute gorgeous set of knives. The new Artisan Boa. And like I said, this is a Kickstarter, but th this is a no-brainer. 
This is a no brainer already. This is going to be funded in like 2.3 seconds because everyone is going to want a version of this knife. This is in that perfect medium sized everyday carry knife range. It's not heavy, it's not large. Uh, matter of fact, let me grab a uh, penguin because this has got to be right around the exact size of a QSP penguin. There you go. So if you have a QSP penguin, it, that gives you a very good indication of the size. You have a little more handle to use, and then for your sharpened length, let's see, it is just a tad longer than the penguin. Because I can tell you, you look at the pictures of this bad boy, and it looks like a giant knife, and it turned out to be one of those everyday carry size knives that everyone is going to want a version of. I really do like this knife. Hey, it's bees approved. Tell me what you think about them. Do you like them? Do you like the size? Do you like the blade? Do you like some good poon? These are not budget knives. These are in the, I don't know, mid, <laughs> I don't even know what tier you would call it, but they're all, they all are the same price. They're all $1.99. So if you want to get a hold of one, you could go to their Kickstarter. I'll put a thingy down there so you can click the thingy do and go over to the whatchamacallit and check them out. I hope you've enjoyed checking out the artist and cutlery boa with me. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments and go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I see you again in the live or the chats or in the comments of this video, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.